Welcome back, Gemini. Hey, this is your April 2023 reading. So we're going to take a look and see what's coming forward in April. And uh, we're also going to take a look at love. So stay tuned for the love reading. And then we will uh, pull an angel number. So we'll see what we have, okay? Let's jump into your energy. Let's see what's going on with Gemini. Give me a message for Gemini, please. What's going on in April 2023? What energy do we have for Gemini? Okay, we have passion. Allow your heart and your soul to sing with joy. So there's going to be some kind of passion that will be unfolding in April. I feel like if you're already in a relationship, I feel like your relationship is going to be there's going to be some kind of reunion. There's going to be some kind of evolution going on here. If you are looking for love, I feel like there's something very passionate that's starting to begin. I'm not going to say that that's love because I'm not sure about that yet. We're going to look more into that. But I feel like there's something very passionate. There's something very fulfilling that will be coming to you in April, right? And I feel like it's okay for you to go ahead and make that romantic advancement towards that new love or towards that person who's already in your life, right? Um, so let's go ahead and get some more energy for Gemini. <clears throat> okay, it's already steamy. <laughs> I can already feel the heat. Okay, let's go ahead and see what else is coming out. Okay, we have moon cycles. Archangel Hanyo. Notice how the moon affects your energy and your manifestations and capitalize upon these cycles. And sometimes during the moon cycles, sometimes during the moon cycles, you may feel more lazy or more energetic. You know, an, a new moon brings in different cycles, but mostly with moon cycles, there's a release that's happening during these cycles. There's something that you're letting go of, something that you're releasing uh, during the moon cycles. So take notice of how your body reacts during these cycles, right? And, and I feel like you'll either... You know, you either roll with the punches here or you'll kind of lay back and relax, right? <laughs> so take notice on the next moon cycle. I have to um, actually look up when the next moon cycle is, but I feel like the, the next new moon is very close. Um, but I'm not going to give you a date because I don't want to tell you anything that's not true. Okay, so let's take a look at more energy. Okay, we have not for you the number six. So there's definitely there's there's something that you're releasing. There's something that you're letting go of because you kind of understand that this certain thing was not meant to be in your life for a certain period of time. Okay, something that was just meant to be here for a um, for a phase, right? Um, it wasn't meant to last. So I feel like that's something that you're releasing. That's something that you're letting go of because you feel like it's time. Okay. At the bottom, we have the fates. So there's something that's destined to happen. There's something that's changing. There's something that's evolving. And you may be finding a new purpose. Okay, so I feel like, you know, your destiny may be becoming more apparent. And for some of you, actually, for some of you, your destiny is finally becoming more clear. It's finally becoming clear because you are letting go of the things that no longer serve you. And it's becoming more clear what you are focusing your energy on. Right. So. Let's take a look at more energy for Gemini. Let's see. Matter of fact, let's get some tarot. 
for Gemini. Let's get some tarot for Gemini, please. What do we have for Gemini? Sun, Moon, and Rising, and Venus. Gemini, please. Okay. Yeah, look at this. You're working on something. There's work being done. We have the Three of Swords. Oh, wow. We have the Five of Pentacles. And we have the Seven of Swords. Okay. Don't get too upset here, Gemini. Um, I, I feel like there is something that you're working on, but there is something that is not going to turn out the full way that you expected. I feel like there's... I feel like there's possibilities here, Gemini, and we always have free will. So you do have the ability to change this reading with any of your actions that you take. Right. Um, but I feel like, you know, you are worrying about a certain situation. You're worrying about if what you're doing, what you're putting your energy into is actually even worth the effort. You're you're feeling very much in doubt. Like, you just don't feel like you're enough, like you have enough experience, like you have enough effort. Uh, you feel kind of left out in the cold. You feel alone, you know, in your situation. This could be in love. This could be in any area of your life. But I feel like, you know, there's a aloneness that you're feeling right now. You feel like things are just lacking. You may lack the financial stability to do something that you love to pursue. You may have um, the lack of financial stability to start a business or some kind of business venture. And I feel like that's putting you in doubt. That's making you feel like you are not enough. You know, like you are, like something's being taken away from you. Like some possibility, some dream, some venture is just being taken away. Like you no longer have the ability to pursue something that you really want to do. Okay. Like I said, this could be in love and business or in your life in general. So take it how it resonates. Okay. But I feel like, you know, there's, there's drama here. There's something that's causing you this inner conflict that's bringing you a lack of confidence. It may be someone around you who's bringing you a lack of confidence, Gemini. Because normally, Gemini, I would say that, you know, you have all the confidence in the world. Gemini, you are unique. You are beautiful. You are amazing, right? And... And I feel like there's someone around you who is kind of draining that confidence from you because there's definitely something that you want to create. There's something that you want to pursue. Look at this. But you don't feel like you have the confidence. You don't feel like you have the confidence. You feel like you're upside down, like things just will not go your way. And look at this King of Wands. This King of Wands is upright. So it may be this King of Wands. There's someone around you who is draining your energy. They're draining your energy. They're making you feel less than. They're making you feel like you're not beautiful. You're not worthy. You, you know, you just don't carry yourself the right way. Okay? But Gemini, adapt to your situation. You are a Gemini. You are very adaptable. Look at that chameleon. Okay. You can adapt to the situation. You can flip this card over and retake your confidence, retake your abilities, your actions, your know-how, you know, your motivation. Okay. So I feel like there's something that needs to be remotivated to bring back your happiness, to bring back your fulfillment. Look at this. There's a cycle that will be ending, but it won't be ending until you make this turnaround. Okay. Move away from this drama and take your power back. 
You can't take your power back feeling less confident. Okay? This king of wands, he's stealing your power. This could be a he or a she. This could be a female or a male. But this king of wands is stealing your power. And you need to flip that over. You need to take your power back. Take your confidence. Take your assertiveness. Be fearless. Be bold. Be daring. Right? And gain back your happiness. Because this king of wands, he was stealing your happiness. He was stealing your joy, right? Now, once you once you take back your confidence, you're moving through the, this next cycle. You've learned the lesson from that. And that king of wands won't be able to steal your joy anymore. He won't be able to do that ever again because you learned this lesson, right? You've completed that cycle. You'll be going on to the next cycle, that new beginning. And that new beginning is joy happiness awareness right some kind of offer being given to you and i feel like you're gonna have this wonderful new beginning new creative ideas new awareness being able to adapt to your situation very easily because you know how beautiful you are you know how attractive you are you know how to have confidence in your situation, to have awareness, okay? You're very confident in your abilities and you are going to be recognized. You are gonna have success. You know, people are watching you. They're watching you with confidence, Gemini. They're watching you with confidence because you are the shit, okay? And I'm sorry for saying that. I'm sorry for cursing. But you, you, you are the stuff. Hey. And you're being seen. You're being noticed. And you're being praised. Okay. But first, you need to steal back your power. Take it back. You know, don't let this king of wands take your energy. Don't let him have the energy that is created for you, right? Um, let's take a look at what is going on in love for Gemini. Let's take a look at what's going on in love. The Six of Emotions. Yeah. Okay, so this is like the Six of Cups. So this could be someone trying to come back. This could be family, love. This could be a gift. Okay. Memories can fill your heart with many emotions. It's important to remember your past accurately without seeing it as if it's better or worse than it really was. People you used to know may return to your life unexpectedly. Children could be an important issue. Or you may need to reconnect with your own inner child. Okay? Beautiful. Okay. And we have the three of abundance. This is the three of pentacles. Okay? So some kind of cooperation, some kind of teamwork. Um, your passions will lead you to your divine life purpose. Do what you love. Have confidence in your talents. Learn everything there is to know about your interests by taking classes, getting a mentor, or teaming up with like-minded people. Allow your creativity to soar. Okay, beautiful. And we also have the Eight of Abundance. Okay, so we have the Eight of Abundance twice. That's the Eight of Pentacles. Okay. This is a time of learning and homing your skills. You may feel inspired to go back to school, take seminars on topics that facilitate, excuse me, that fascinate you, or educate yourself in healing arts. This is a good time to change jobs or make a career move. The key to success is in the details. 
monitor your projects carefully. Okay? You have confidence in your abilities. Okay? You are the master of something. Right? Uh, you have the ability to do whatever it is that you put your mind to. Gemini, you just have that ability. Okay, at the bottom we have seen clearly. Uh, number 12, the hangman, right? It's time to view things from a different perspective. You have a blessed gift to see past in the current situation and envision amazing possibilities. Don't worry, pause in momentum while you rethink your plan won't last. Embrace your uniqueness and allow it to serve you. Okay, so I feel like there will be things that will become more clear to you. Um, I feel like if you're lacking the answers, I feel the answers will come to you. You will, you already know the answer, um, but I feel like they, they will just become more clear the path that you need to take, right? Uh, so let's take a look at what's going on with Gemini and love. Let's get some love oracles for Gemini. What's going on in love for Gemini? Okay, we have seduction. Wow. Attraction. There's someone who's very attracted to you. Someone may try to tempt you in a situation if you are currently connected to somebody, I feel like there may be someone who comes as a third party situation who tries to lure you into some kind of temptation. Um, if you're not connected, I feel like someone is very connected to you. They're very attracted and I, I feel like they really want to pursue you. Now, I'm not going to say they want to pursue you for a long term relationship because that's not really unknown. But I feel like they want to pursue you to get to know you better, right? Now, this may lead to a one-night stand. It may lead to some kind of seduction. But um, I do feel like there is someone who's very interested in you, okay? And we also have the hand of cards. So I feel like Spirit is letting you know that whoever is coming forward for you to, this is now time to show your hand and take a risk. You know, it's all going to be a gamble, what you put your energy into. But I feel like this is one person that's coming around that you may want to take a risk on. You may want to try to see where the opportunity is leading you. OK, um, take a look at your options in your situation. Hell, weigh your pros and cons. Right. But I feel like this is definitely someone that you want to bet on. This is someone that you want to risk. OK, this is someone that you may want to. Um, pursue at all costs, okay? I feel like the energy is there, right? And we have the coffee cup. So there may be a friend from the past coming in as well. I feel like there may be someone coming in that you'll be spending time with, that you'll be maybe going out to dinner, maybe conversing with. There'll be someone who is going to call you out of the blue, right? So I, I do feel like there is love coming through. I feel like there's seduction. There's someone that you want to take a risk with. And then there will be someone that, you know, just wants to spend time with you, maybe even just on a friend level. Okay. But I feel like this person is very uplifting, upbeat, and positive in energy. Okay. Let's go ahead and take a look at the... Manifestation monology. <clears throat> okay, we have full moon of Aquarius, be real. Okay, we also have clear your mind. So the, there's some kind of shift happening to where you, you do want to clear your mind in the situation. You may want to meditate. Um, but I, I feel like Gemini, sometimes our minds can get cluttered, 
with a lot of different thoughts, a lot of different feelings, basically, you know, and a lot of different plans as well, you know, and I, I feel like our minds get so cluttered with just information that sometimes it's just hard to really explain exactly how you're feeling, where you're going, what you're doing, you know, I feel like it all just gets too cluttered. So the, there's going to be times when you just need to clear your mind. Just let go of all your thoughts. Just release them, right? And just explore the possibilities of just the empty, emptiness of thought, right? And that's very, actually, that, that's just meditating. Just clearing your mind of all the clutter. Emptying your mind to, you know, be able to fill it with a better realization. Okay. Um, I feel like I'm rambling, Gemini. And I'm so sorry for that. Uh, let's go ahead and get a monology card. The energy is gaining momentum. So I feel like as the month of April goes through, I feel like you are, your mind will start to race. Okay. I feel like whatever energy you're starting to put things into, I feel like that energy is now growing. It's now, you know, getting motivated, getting, you know, moving, taking more action. So I feel like whatever you're doing, I feel like, you know, it's, it's starting to move much faster in April. Okay. We have confidence is your key to success. So being more confident in your situation and being fearless in your situation is going to bring about much more success in the long run. Okay. So Let's get an angel number. Let's see what's going on for Gemini. Let's get an angel number, please. <clears throat> of course, duality. Who else would get the duality card but Gemini? We are the dual signs, right? The twins. 12-12, duality. Within you are shadows of dark and beams of light. The divine is reminding you to embrace the duality that is your individual spark. The spark is being ignited and is ready to illuminate the path ahead. Okay. Um, Gemini, your affirmation. I fully embrace who I am and allow change where, where it is needed. And I trust the duality within me. Of course, you know, you, you have to trust yourself in that twin part, right? And who else to get that card but Gemini? That's so incredible. Okay, well, Gemini, I hope this reading resonates with you. If it doesn't, feel free to take a look at your other placements. They may be resonating with you more at this moment, okay? And if it does resonate, please like and subscribe. I appreciate all your love and support. I love you right back. Okay. And uh, Gemini, until your next reading, many blessings to you. Love and light.